In this exercise, I want to talk about blank white space in a Word document. The first example I want to show you is if you select um, certain paragraphs, um, so I'll set this paragraph. There's no white space after this paragraph, it's just straightforward um, a line has been created by somebody pressing enter. However, on the title introduction, you can see quite clearly that there is white space or space after the word introduction. If I try and get rid of that by backspacing, all that happens is my paragraph becomes part of the heading style, which is introduction. So to get rid of that, I need to highlight it, go into the heading style, which is heading one in this case, select modify on the right mouse click. You can see there it says before 12 point and after 12 point. If I go to format, paragraph I can remove those click OK to that OK again and then I've removed that space another example where you may come across white space or blank space is if somebody has selected this option from the paragraph menu where they've selected keep lines together So now I've got some space at the bottom of this page because the paragraph has jumped across to the top of the next page. You will not be able to get rid of that space unless you take keep lines together off. Third case is when you've got this white space, all this space here, and you try to get rid of it by pressing delete and then all sorts of things happen. So in this case, the table that was on page three had jumped onto page two. The paginations changed to landscape and all sorts of things have gone wrong. So I'm just going to do control Z for undo to bring that back. Because what's happened here is somebody's used a page break so that they can change the orientation for page three because they want a table. Basically, you cannot remove that page break in this case without affecting the pagination and the page layout, the page orientation. If you do want to um, remove the page break, you will have to select view and draft so you can see where the page break is. So if I scroll down this page, you can see that there is a section break next page sitting there above the table. If I click on that and delete that, everything goes wrong. Let's jump back up. So I'm going to do Control Z again. So in this case, you wouldn't want to do that unless you want the table to be portrait. So those are just a couple of things that come up. You can come across in a Word document. Hopefully that was helpful to people.